Now at noon, police are investigating yet another deadly drive-by shooting, this one in northwest Miami-Dade. Good afternoon. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Police say a man and a woman are the latest victims to gun violence in South Florida. CBS 4's Bobeth Yates is live in Miami with the latest. Bobeth? Well, Maribel, officers are calling this a drive-by shooting, and it all came to an end right here at the intersection of 51st Terrace and 29th Avenue in Brownsville. The car ended up being shot and then crashing into those bushes. What I saw, it was like a war zone. George Batista lives just blocks away from where gunshots rang out early Tuesday morning. It's scary. It happens about five minutes before I was supposed to park here. Miami-Dade police responded to calls of shots fired near the intersection of Northwest 51st Terrace and Northwest 29th Avenue in Brownsville. They arrived on scene to find a gray BMW riddled with bullets. Officials say based on preliminary investigations, they believe this was a drive-by shooting and there were about 88 evidence markers showing where those shell casings landed. I heard all these gunshots, so what I did was I jumped up just to make sure that the kids were safe. I crawled back to my room so I could make sure I got in the bed just to make sure I was safe. The Brownsville resident did not want to be identified, but says since about 1 a.m. when the shooting happened, she's been on edge. I literally haven't been back to sleep yet because it's a scary feeling. You don't know if it's over. You don't know if they coming back. And according to officials, the car crashed after being shot. The two people inside the car were both hit. The female died on scene, and the male was transported to Ryder Medical Center in critical condition, but later succumbed to his injuries. I don't understand what the young kids are going through now. And these killings are, uh, like I said, overwhelming the police. It's, it's, it's a shame that we have to live like this, okay? It's a shame that people have so many guns and, you know, I don't know what we can do about that. Now, just a few minutes ago, we saw the family members of those two victims come by here. And, of course, you can imagine they were just shaken up by this whole thing, just devastated. Of course, officers are asking anyone with information about this to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 305-471-TIPS. Live in Brownsville, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News. Well, Beth, thank you for that live update.